Here's a wild shot that probably came off my camera phone that I was viewing back and forth uh, for um, later look. Um, having a heart attack when I saw the Mona Lisa hidden in the face area of my man. It's actually got um, the same um, style of her pose in her face, the real deep within. Leonardo da Vinci uh, blessed me when I ended up with this painting. Um, my um, mind almost went crazy doing this. Uh, as you can see, I had to shoot a few shots of this. It was uh, more than um, <coughs> breathtaking. The to for you to is be like you hitting the lotto. Whoops and uh, you'll um, end up with uh, there we go uh, you end up with um, uh, all the numbers hitting right um, but that is one percent of what had happened to me what happened to me was that as being religious as I was it was like the other 99 percent of it um, uh, hit me in the heart for uh, the greatness of uh, his works that turned me into religion. And I'm going to zoom in here for you. As you can see, that is the area in the um, Mona Lisa of the river, but that is the heart you can see, which I'm going to put in one of my next YouTubes of some of the items in which uh, match because he drew a heart in the sand. So for you to see that, I, I learned from my YouTubes of, of, of such. Now if you take a look, why would I shoot a picture of a tree of my neighbor's home? But you can see here that they are what Leonardo da Vinci studied if you take a look, these actually looks like you were doing in a cloud and you start describing little things. Here's an E. Uh, here's a, a little teddy bear with legs hanging down. You know, these, these are what God's little creations of little like Hindus that you get out of it that you, you, you follow. But it made me do the study of Leo this way because it, it gives me what I'm going to show you here for you to understand that's not just something. You see how it looks like a tree here, but if you look, it's like half a man's face here and the other half here, and the arm hanging down and, and such, and another owl. This is something in which I just noticed, and he's got this bird looking beak over here. And But see, people don't see what Leo has seen, even though we see what we just see. Not only are there little hearts floating through here in the air gaps, these the so what you see that's not color that is blank that looks like nothing is something. If you look across through here, it looks like words and writing like a six, like an L, like a crown, like kind of like a U or a V, kind of like an I, kind of like a cartoon guy. But these are images that are blowing through the leaves. Uh, Leo would take a um, postus that you would go for a notification of someone that uh, and and put your phone number down and you have all that that uh, paper that, that uh, is still usable and out of that paper that's still usable uh, he would cover every single dot that you couldn't see it in multi different colors if you zoom in on certain areas on this, not only does it look like a big head and arm hanging down, you can you can see these little characters that you can kind of catch, like here's Santa Claus or so with his arm spread right through here, if you see. Like this head here and an arm here and a hair and here's his tummy and here's his leg and the leg spread out. You know, that's the way Leo put some of his works. So that's how I related to life of, of Leo uh, into nature. 
and um, art and that's probably why a lot of people on the side road when we go and you buy the ocean and they're sitting there doing the waves they're seeing something okay they're seeing the image of God's great tricks or God's great art or God's great teaching of what is going in, into it so that's that's what I need and he you know you remember how the women want I my, my knight in shining armor well there's his sketch to be put into the Mona Lisa and uh, you know you can't have a horse not be a Ferrari back in his time so there's the, the Indo and with that I want to tell you we've got to cut this short because we're already into the past five minutes may uh, uh, you guys have social distance wear a mask uh, wash your hands, uh, say your prayers, call your uh, friends or loved ones and tell them about me or tell them about you and how you're doing and teach your teacher or your teacher may teach you some of the things that he's been trying to teach you or tell you about. Uh, tell them that you're trying to study and what you thought about it. If you need to do an essay on it. I have like well over 700 YouTubes of this so you be careful if you want to if you want to do it because there's an awful lot to play with in here and he'll have a lot of catching to find out what I'm talking about. Most of the people who even own the Mona Lisa don't even know what's hidden within it and uh, for the ones who do know that's hidden within it are trying to conceal it by photoshopping and blurring a lot of the images in which I know are there because they're in my Mona Lisa of my own painting of the older Mona Lisa. So what I have in mind I have to take 20 of the Mona Lisa's uh, pictures that were done and and altered and I have to pull out each quarter or one ten percent of it to uh, 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 that they did not uh, alter or disturb and so it's kind of like a um, uh, private investigator or FBI or uh, forensic type deal to get into things in which uh, the world has tried to uh, hide the information on and so with that I have to say um, God bless the whole world the universe and the heavens it doesn't cost a thing to subscribe if you wish to subscribe that would be very nice of you in Jesus name Amen